Hello, my name is Amy Sturkey. I am a pediatric physical therapist with uh, over 30 years of clinical practice, and I'm doing my series on activities you can do with a person who has low tone. And my co-instructor is Myla, who is almost four years old. And in this activity, we're working on um, stepping one foot on and one foot off. Um, I decided that I needed something a little bit more dramatic than the crack in the driveway, so we rolled up a uh, blanket um, to a that wide, uh, six inches about wide um, surface, and I always demonstrate first, and I try to make it look like the most fun it has ever been had. So let's watch me. I'm gonna go on and off, my love, watch me. Ding dong. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Okay, so uh, one of the things I try to do is just like with the sideways stepping where I was going sideways, sideways, I um, make a sing-songy thing as well with this. So this one's ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Uh, I have better success if I use that than if I don't. Uh, but now it's Myla's turn. Uh, I knew this was going to be tricky, so I asked her brother and sister to both hold her hand to try to get her to do this. Let's see how it goes. Ready? Okay, so put, so put one foot off and one foot on. Keep one okay. foot on. Let's go. Ding dong ding. Nope. No, no. Keep one foot off. One foot on. Yay! Go back and do it again. Okay. More. Tyler, can you go a little further forward or a little further back so people can see her feet? Oh, yeah. go on. Go on, go on, go on. Get this one on. The, no, one off, one, one on. One off. Ding dong. Ding. Uh oh. No, keep one foot <laughs> off, Lila. And one foot on. Maybe this needs to stay here and that needs to stay. Uh oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Both feet look squishy. Yay! Yay! Oh, that was kind of tricky. So uh, it looked like Mala thought she was supposed to step on consistently instead of on and off, which is often the problem. So I decided maybe we should modify it and have her sister hold two hands, but have her brother um, point to where she's supposed to step, uh, as since that went well with some of the previous activities we've done. Um, it's, and he would also be available to help uh, physically place her leg if needed. So let's see how that went. Step here, step here. No, no, no. Put this one here, put this one here, and then put this one here, okay? Yay! So now that foot goes here, put this foot here. Right there, step. Yes! Now put that foot here, put that foot here. Step here. Yes! Put that foot here, put that foot here. Yes! Now um, put yes! Now put that foot here. Now put that foot here. <laughs> uh oh, put it on. Put it on. Okay. Yes! Now put that foot here. Step, step, step. Help her go forward so she can step, Lainey. Here, step holding her there. back. Step there. Now step there. There you no. go. Let's right go. Yay! Yay! Well, that was more successful, but still challenging for Mila. Um, I just love how supportive this family is in working with their sister. Um, it's important for uh, Mila to feel like she's successful, even when things are challenging, for her to be encouraged to want to try these games and it not to be a discouraging experience for her. Uh, I do think she needs to practice this some more, um, but I really do like this activity. I hope it's something you can use at home to help your child learn improve dynamic balance. And I guess we'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. If you liked this video and would like to be notified by email when the next video comes out, click the subscribe button here and click the golden bell icon and ensure notifications are enabled on your account.